wanted to go over was the cannon, the, the cannon cover that goes between the pilot seat. It actually, um, on the cockpit itself, it actually would butt up against that bulkhead and, and glue right there. The best, if you really want to make a nice one, you can do it out of uh, balsa. Um, I, I tried to make something that, that would work, way, work pretty well, but the problem I run into is pulling something that deep, you run into the flashing here and where, where it just it just will not pull nicely. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna include these parts, but if you wanna make another one out of balsa, you can. Um, I have already CA'd this inside. I've glued it all the way around. What you have to do is come in here and you can just cut, because what happens when it pulls, it still pulls that together. It just leads to flashing. You come in here and cut that flashing off. And you can cut the, the big part of it off. And then you take an X-Acto knife and just shave it and you can actually just if you're careful just sand it down to where it's smooth all the way around okay and then we're going to cut we're going to cut it away from our base here all the way around okay you're going to have to do the same thing this is the bottom half you're going to do the same thing to it clear the flashing cut it where it, it clears the flashing down here and then that piece is glued onto the front you can you can see how how it's glued on here. Um, like I said, um, I use the uh, Model Masters cement to glue ABS to ABS. Um, okay, that I wanted to show that real quick, and um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I, if you have any questions, you can feel free to get a hold of me. Um, I'll, I'll be glad to talk talk you through something. This is a pretty easy installation. The, the plane's made for because it, it has nothing. It has nothing in the cockpit area that you have to remove. All thing you have to do is lower the um, uh, the servos a little bit. Um, I do also have uh, clear canopies. Um, they're a lot more pliable than the other ones. I mean, you can you can bend it here, whereas the other ones they would just crack, shatter. Um, but anyway, I hope this helps. It makes the plane look really nice. And um, if you need one or have any questions, you feel free to get in, in touch with me. And you can always go on my website, tiesplanes.com. Okay, guys, one more quick thing I want to show you. I, I do have the headrest put in. Um, what I did to put it in was um, I, in the base of it, after I got it all done, I took a drill bit and I drilled in with a, um, a 16th inch drill. And I used two toothpicks um, to come up through the bottom. Uh, to, to seat it in place and lock it in. Um, what, what I would do is come along the back here, along this rear piece, and put me a piece of um, maybe a quarter by quarter or a quarter by half um, piece of balsa across the back. That'll, that'll make that a little bit more rigid. And uh, your toothpicks can come up through there and stick into the top here. And then I'd put a bead of glue across the bottom. Uh, one other quick thing I wanted to show you that you may want to consider Thing drops out so easy is um, when you get ready to put the cockpit in I have to go with what what work with what we already previously have here and that is this ledge what you may want to do is take a piece of um, piece of balsa and um, glue it from this from the lip uh, down across the bottom here and what what, what we do let's see if I can get a piece right what we do is glue it in just at this angle here now you want to get it as close to the um, edge here. You might have to sand it down a little bit, but this will give you a little bit more glue surface to where this inside lip here would have something to glue to. Also, um, you need to take what I, I I may try to supply them in the kit is put uh, like a pop the popsicle sticks about the right length. Glue one across here and glue one across here, and that'll give you a little bit more rigidity across the bottom. Okay, that was two, a uh, couple more quick things I wanted to show you. But anyway, the cockpit kit's done. Uh, if you have any questions, like I said, you can feel free to contact me. Um, and like I said, I hope this is the end of the video.